Yes, people, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Big up to everyone over on Chelsea Fan TV as always, and welcome to another daily transfer update. First things first, guys, on your way in, make sure you smash the likes on both streams. Make sure you subscribe to both channels as well if you haven't done so already, and get amongst it in the chat. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world, people. But yeah, loads to get into today. Chelsea, uh, look, finally launching their new kit. We're going to have a look at that. We're going to give that a little discussion. Brighton are still holding out for £100 million for Caicedo. And, you know, apparently Chelsea is still quite a far away from Brighton's valuation of the player. Uh, Hakim Ziyech has, turned, has officially rejected Al Nasser's altered offer, but Al Ali could uh, try and go for him anyway. So a move to Saudi could still be on the cards for Hakim Ziyech. Um, we've got the latest on pre-season as well. Mauricio Pochettino putting the boys through their paces. Uh, Lukaku only wants Inter Milan, but uh, Chelsea have stopped speaking to Inter after their latest offer, which wasn't good enough. We've got the striker shortlist uh, of Dusan Vlaovic, Victor Osimum, Eli Wahi as well. Uh, loads going on, people. And then Montpellier's Eli Wahi, which could be a bid going in next week. Uh, for the youngster. So as always, there is loads and loads to get into, people. So let's say hello to a few people in the chat and then we will get the show on the road, guys. Best thing Chelsea did all season was sell the dead wood. Yeah, it's been fantastic. It's been really good business. Uh, as someone who loves football, Chelsea in the greatest window. Yeah, we're doing really well so far, but now is the time to start to step things up and really make sure that we get the incomings that we desperately need, which is going to make a big difference to how our season goes. Daniel, hope you're well. Goo 2000, hope you're good. We're going to get into Wahi. Syed, hope you're good. Jacob, big up. Uh, Wahi, good player. I approve it. Don't know an awful lot about him, but we'll get into it. What's your opinion on the kit? We're going to get into that as well. I like it. Bilal, hope you're good. Uh, not looking good for your boy. No, he's not my boy, but I I, I, I think he stays. I, I really do. Gaffer, hope you're good, bro. Yeah, mate, little new training top purchased last week. Um, I can't lie. It is, it's, it's very nice. Very nice. Glad, glad you approve. Yeah, all good, all good. Uh, proper blue, hope you're good. Watching from Bradford, big up from Bradford, big up. What's happening, Sean? Uh, Rad, hope you're doing good from the US. Raman has finally been free to go. Yeah, he's gone. Shvindra, big up. Anthony, keeping it simple. ZH is shite. Yep, agreed. Um, and Kunku back training tomorrow. Yeah, he will be. Uh, seeing the kit. Yep. Makes me laugh when clubs act like children say so I'm not speaking to you anymore. Yeah, it's a little bit strange, isn't it? Uh, big up. Charlie, blow a big up. Hope you're good, bro. No stars on the kit. Uh, no, no stars on the kit. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if that's a uh, yeah. We, we just don't have the stars on the kit. I mean, do other clubs have the stars on their kits? I don't know. Hope you're. Yeah, hope you're feeling better. By the way. Um, thoughts on Enzo? Yeah, baller. Love him. Uh, mate, how are you? I love hearing your choice of knowledge. Need to smile more. Well, when there's more, when there's when there's more shit to smile about, then be be sure about it. I'll be smiling, people. Um, Ossiman, any chance? About as much chance as me for signing for Chelsea. So no, none. Uh, as per your opinion, who's the best young player start? Who's the best young player at Chelsea? Tough. I'll probably say Levi Cowell, but it depends what age age you're defining as young, I guess. Um, and Chelsea, not nope. Chelsea aren't going for Carrot Scalia. Nope. Baba Rahman out. Good. Watching from South East London. Big up. Uh, Poch wants to keep Martin. It's been reported. No, he's just going to be part of pre season. Um, that the reporter just said he'll be looked at in pre-season. It's got nothing to say that he's going to be part of the first-team squad. Ziyech is going to be the new Bogard. We won't get rid of his contract runs out. Now they're going to. Heard the team were put through their pace. Looking at all previous Poch team, it's going to be a certain... Yeah, yeah, for sure. They've been put through their paces. The fitness was a massive problem last season. But the only thing that Lampard got right was identifying that these bums were unfit. So, yeah. You know they're gonna they're gonna be fit. Um, you know Poch gets the teams running. We've seen this when he took over at Southampton. They went from near the bottom in running stats right to the top. Same with Tottenham, and I would expect the same with Chelsea as well. The basics: be fit to play football. How how, how we were allowed last season to uh, become a team that wasn't fit? That's that's just it's terrible. Uh, stars for the Champions League. Max, hope you're good. Are we really struggling to find a sponsor? Uh, it's I, I don't know how much we're struggling. Um, but obviously, we haven't got one yet. Um, again, you know, there's mitigating circumstances here. Uh, the Paramount Plus one was blocked by the Premier League. We could have gone with steak, but there was the fan backlash to that, so they didn't do that. And now we're, we're now, and now, and now we're, try, we're we're kind of still trying to find one. So yeah, hopefully that'll be sorted pretty soon, or it needs to be sorted pretty soon. Uh, I'm watching from Africa. Big up to all the African Chelsea fans. 
Uh, no, they're not. That was just uh, part of the marketing for the kit, which, by the way, was fucking good, good marketing. Uh, recently, Chelsea signed a lot of young talents. Who do you rate the most? I've got to be honest, I don't know an awful lot about a lot of the youngsters that, that I've signed, unfortunately. But yeah, I, I, I can't really give an answer. Yep, love the, love the new kit. Uh, no, I'm not because if you if you play as a a wing back or a full back, that's probably one of the most that that's probably one of the most physically demanding positions on the pitch, up and down, non-stop. So yeah, what date would a transfer window close? Uh, I think it's like September second or something. Yeah, we we we've got Kendry Pires. He just can't come till he's eighteen. Uh, no, Baba Rahman, big up Jake. Hope you're good, my guy. Uh. What else have we got? Caicedo, truly world class. We definitely need to get this one over the line. We honestly do. Uh, to me, Moises Caicedo, too expensive. Why don't we go to South America or Africa to get some better ones? Well, because we need someone that's going to come into the team and make, and make an instant impact straight away. You know, it's all very, it's fine having the likes of Casale, Andre Santos, Triple Mecca, etc. But we need someone top, top level to go alongside uh, Enzo Fernandez. That has to be. That has to be. Uh, thoughts on Cherky? Two seconds. Uh, why can't Chelsea wait until we get back in the Champions League? So we've because you have to have a sp shirt sponsor, I think. Uh, thoughts on Cherky? Very talented boy. Very high potential. Um, other than that, don't know an awful lot about him. Uh, what else are people saying in the chat? Yeah, I've seen that Lukaku stuff. Uh, if Chelsea don't get Kaiseido, how about Chalibur in the DM role? Uh, guys, we can't we can't be taking shortcuts here. We can't take shortcuts in key positions. We can't just be like, oh, we've got you know, let's that, just let's just stick Chalibur in midfield because he's played there before. Like, if we're serious and which which we are as a football club, you cannot be in a situation where you don't sign a, a defensive midfield player and you um and you think, oh, we're just shoehorn some a centre back in there because he's played there before. That, that, that's not how it works. Hazard or Drogba. Uh, oh, uh, probably I say Drogba just for the big games. Um, I'm glad we are recruiting from Brazil, but Africa has a lot of talent too. Yeah, there's a lot of talented African player as well. Yeah, bro, the Trivago stuff is 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 phenomenal. I, I, I wish they could make the training kits always better than the match kit. I don't know why they can't just why they, why Trivago can't just do the do the um do do the match kit, but you know it, it, it is what it is. We've been dodging DMs for years. Yeah, we have, which reminds me to get right back on it. Ben, yeah, I think Chile will be decent, very good under Pochettino as well. I really don't understand why other clubs are selling players to Chelsea for a higher price and they want to buy from us for cheap. Uh, I guess that's more that's more Italian-based clubs for sure. No, no two ways about it. Definitely Italian-based clubs. Um, Chelsea buying young talent, but we missed out on Arda Gula to Real Madrid, to be fair. I don't know if Chelsea were in for Gula and if it was a choice between Chelsea and Real Madrid, like it's you, 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 you're losing out. It's as simple as that. Uh, Caicedo transfer is getting annoying now. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating for sure. What do you reckon to Lavia? Again, like Lavia, I think he's got a lot of potential there to develop into a very good player. So let's kind of wait and see what happens with him. Bro, thank you. Thank you for the compliments as always. Um, David Dacher Fofano has just completed medical tests as a new Union Berlin player on loan from Chelsea. Yeah, we discussed this last night. Great loan move for Dacher. Really good loan move. Truman is not leaving Real Madrid. So I, I don't know why people keep saying um, keep saying that we should go for Truman. Truman is not leaving Madrid. Ornstein didn't tweet since last week. Hopefully he's preparing the Caicedo bomb. If he, if he is, fantastic. We need another midway, okay? Um, Caicedo is truly world-class. Definitely need to get this one over the line. Yeah, we absolutely do, Lee, for sure. Uh, it's expensive. yeah, oh yeah, we're, we're oh yeah, of course we're on we're playing Brighton in pre season. I wonder if Caicedo will be a Chelsea player playing in that game or not. That 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 that'll be a, that that'll be an interesting situation to uh to find ourselves in. But yeah, guys, let's dive into things. People, keep getting your things in the chat. Keep smashing the likes. Make sure you subscribe to both channels if you haven't done so already as well, guys. So here we are. Chelsea launched the kit this morning, and there's Ben Chilwell looking very smart in it. I. I really, I really like it. Um, it's obviously a, a throwback uh, to to the '90s kit, the '97, '98, I think it was, or '97 to '99, the years when you had a home shirt for two years. Um, you know, the season that Chelsea won the the UEFA Cup, won its cups, 25 years since then. As you can see around the sleeve, it's the the white, white, white and gold as as a throwback to that. Um, I really like, I really like the, the shirt. You know, simple, simplistic. The only thing that I'm a little bit unsure about, and I don't like that much, is I think the badge and the tick look really tacky. It just looks like 
I, I, I don't know. It just looks a little bit shit. It would have been better if it was like a, a badge like that, like as in like it's embroidered on there. This just looks a little bit tacky. It's one of those reflective things. Um, but look, I think it's really nice. It's certainly one of the, it's certainly the best home shirt that we've had in a number of years. Um, I think it's also uh, probably the best home shirt that Nike have done for us um, in terms of uh, since they took over as the kit sponsor from Adidas. And if, if if Chelsea sell this with no sponsor, this legitimately will probably be in terms of, I think this could be Chelsea, one of Chelsea's best selling kits of all time. If they sell it with no sponsor, I see there, be, see there being a similar uh, demand for it in the same way that there was for that one-off kit we wore against Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup. Really, really nice. You know, a bit of a collector of people that like kits like myself and loads of you out there. If they sell this with no sponsor, that is that's going to do really really well. But yeah, I, I I really like this. Definitely, as I said, one of the best Nike kits Chelsea have had in a long time. Certainly one of the best home kits as well. I mean, guys in the chat, let me know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on on the on the on on the shirt, people? Let me know. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, what, what what are your thoughts on it? Will we be purchasing one? I think the only the only big problem for me is is that, and I don't understand this. Like obviously there there was a picture they shot they did like the behind the scenes shoot and stuff for all the kit ages ago because. They had to edit Aspilicueta and Kai Havertz out of the kit photo because they obviously left. So it goes to show that this kit's been there for a while. Um, and obviously, that, um, also, they 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 ed they edited out Trevor Chalibur for some reason as well. I'm not sure why they removed Chalibur from the photo as well. It was a slight, slightly odd one, that. But uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's really nice. But the, the biggest thing for me is, and I think it's an absolute shambles, is that the kit's not available to buy until after the first game of the season, which is which is just ridiculous. Like I don't I do not understand how you can launch the kit right and it's not available to buy until after we've played Liverpool. And that's only at the mega store, online at the mega store, and from the Nike website. And then it won't be available in other retailers until the 23rd. So by the time it's available everywhere, we would we would have we would have already played Liverpool and we would have already played West Ham. So um I I don't uh, look, it, it's like I don't understand why they're why you can't buy it now. It should have been available to buy now. It's an absolute farce that you know you're gonna have fans turning up to the first game of the season against Liverpool and no one's gonna be wearing the new shirt because it's not been released. That's inexcusable. Now I don't blame them, I don't blame them for the sponsorship thing. As I said earlier, you know, it's not their fault the Premier League block Paramount. They listen to the fans with in, in regards to in regards to stake. Um, and now we're, we're we're kind of scrambling around for someone else, and hopefully that'll that'll get done very soon. I really do hope they release this as an unsponsored. You can get an un, you can get a, a, a plain version as well, because I think by I mean my only thinking for the August sixteenth release date is that maybe they're hoping to have a sponsorship in place by then, so they can just get those whacked on the shirt and then sell them after the first game of the season. But I really do think that you know this this should be available to be sold like this, and it is, in my opinion, it is an absolute farce that this is not available to buy today. This should have been available to buy today, a a, a sponsorless version, and then if you want to go and buy the sponsored kit later on, you can do so. But they they should release this as a sponsorless version. They really should. I hope and I hope they do because that was the impression I got. But it doesn't look like that could that that may or may not be happening. I don't really know. It wasn't particularly clear. Looks a little scuffed. Kit looks good. I'm agreed. In April, the Premier League announced that gambling. Yeah, uh, love the new kit without the shirts. Wants to that great there that there is an opportunity to buy it with that one. Well, Lee, I hope there is. I couldn't really work out if there was. Like the way it was worded made it made it out to sound like there it would there would be, but maybe now there might not be. I don't, I don't really know. Yet yeah, badge is not. Uh, will it be cheaper? <laughs> I, I, I I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. You know what Premier League clubs are like with money and how ridiculously expensive kits are so yeah i i wouldn't expect it to be any cheaper no but ho hopefully it is but I, I wouldn't have thought so easy out of turn love it for sure get your many of course your many's not coming people we need to stop saying this kits nice badge is horrific I, I i'd like to see the badge in person because in the pictures it really doesn't look that great but maybe in person it might look a little bit better let's hope for a nice away kit but i think a nice orange away no idea what the third kit i think that i think the away is going to be is going to be kind of a black kit with patterns on it and i think the third shirt's going to be a mint green well that's what the uh, initial leaked pictures were saying could be different though but i wonder when those are going to come out as well nothing too good 6 out of 10 uh yeah 
that, 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 that's exactly it. I mean, Jot would have been really good is if they if they could have had that the same collar that they had on it in 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 ninety seven ninety eight. If they had the same collar on it, that would have been phenomenal. Uh, Todd Bowley ruining our club? No, I, I I disagree with that. Trev's in other kit picks. Fair. Uh, reminds me a lot of the ninety seven. That that that's 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 the one. That's the one. Which team has the best jersey? I I, I haven't seen them all. Chalaba deleted from the photo. Uh, no, I think that's a bit harsh. We are linked with an, to another kid, Weir. Uh, well, if it's not Timothy Weir, because he's just gone to Juventus. Chelsea new kid going to be so expensive. When it yeah, I dread to think. We're, I reckon we're talking 80 quid. Do you know what's mad, right? Is the, the shirt from last season, right, is still like 75 quid to buy, which is which is ridiculous. No news on the away kit. Ian Martin, what about him? Uh, look, I think he'll take part in pre-season, but I don't know if he's going to be part of the first team squad. I really don't know why I never like Brian. If you want 100 mil for Kaiseido, why do you want to pay less for Levi? If I were to be in Chelsea board, I wouldn't give them. No, no, we're not. No, we're not giving them Colwell. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, yeah, we've, we've done that. We're going to get into that. Uh, so our big signing is Kaiseido. But I, I, I'm not sure if if, if 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 rules were broken, like if that if that did go against the rules or not. That that that's kind of my point. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, it, all, it was all kind of gone a bit quiet on that. That would reduce the money to the sponsors if they sell the shirts now. Oh, uh, but they, yeah, but they could still sell a sponsored version as well, and people would still buy it. We play Brighton in the US Summer Series on July twenty second in Philadelphia. Seems he'll go on tour as a Brighton player. Um, yeah, but I suppose at least you've got the option, right? If we can agree a fee, at least we can do a medical out in America because we'll still be in America. But again, guys, we're nine days away, so we don't need to panic right now. But again, it is, it is a small worry. Um, do you think Chelsea will have third kit? Yeah, all you always do. What source said we are going to bid for uh, France? So Le Keep and uh, get French football news as well, which is not really an outlet. But yeah, Le Keep, the main sports paper in France. Uh, I mean, I, I think we need to get both anyway. Agate's done to PSG yet. Yeah. Where do you think Chelsea will finish? Chris, I hope we can get into the top five, mate. That, that for me is the magic number. Get into the top five so that we're back in the Champions League and then we can build from there. We absolutely have to get back in the Champions League next season. Uh... Brighton would accept 70 plus 10 instant cash. Uh, yeah, I think it's, I'm guessing, I don't know. How much did it cost? I I, I don't know, bro. It's not It's not out yet. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, because he used to manage him before at Tottenham and his career's obviously gone down the drain a little bit. I think they got on very well. So maybe just gonna, he's just going to give him a call and, and, and see how he is. It's, it's, nothing to, it's nothing to do with him coming to Chelsea or anything like that. Uh, Juventus, yeah, he's re- I saw that this, uh, this afternoon. That is, it is really, really nice. Uh, if you can't buy it badgeless, what's the point launching it? Um, yeah, that that is that is also true. I mean, if like if you're launching the kit, surely you should be able to buy it afterwards. Otherwise, you might as well just wait to launch it. We've launched it for for seemingly no no reason other than to just launch it and be like, oh, by the way, guys, you can't buy this until after the fucking season starts. How much with player name on the back would you say? I mean, if you buy it officially through the club, it, you could be looking at almost a hundred quid. Um, fair. Uh, Great, great. Another unknown under 21 player. We're going to get into all this. When has Chelsea kits ever been cheap? Never. No, no. Chirmeni's not coming to Chelsea. Reese James and Menchula injury prone. One or two injuries in midfield and we're in trouble. Yeah, hopefully Reese and Chile can put their injury issues behind them this season. Uh, the goalkeeping kit is fine. Yeah, that looks quite nice as well. Um, who is... Oh, we're going to get into e- Eli or Eli Wahi. Michael, hope you're good. Guys, as True Blue said, smash the likes, everyone. Guys, on my channel, people, we've got 70 of us locked in. Only 34 likes, though. Let's get these likes up, people. At least to 50 likes, guys. Hover over that thumb. Don't be shy. Give it a little click, and let's ramp these likes up. Exactly the same over on Chelsea Fan TV as well. People, run these likes up to at least 50, 60 likes if we can, guys, as a starting point. Let's get the likes up, people. Paramount would have looked... Yeah, Paramount would have been unreal. Um, Juventus band, yep. Uh, are we still wet? Yeah, we haven't got a sponsor yet. New shirts will be available uh, f- from August the 16th. Again, if a sponsorship deal can be done earlier, that deal, that, that date could potentially be brought forward. But as things stand, available to buy on October, uh, sorry, August 16th. Uh, farewell, Baba. Yeah, Baba Raman gone. But yeah, guys, that's the kit available on the 16th of August, which is a farce. So yeah, it is what it is, but it does look really nice. One of the cleanest Chelsea shirts. I'll definitely be getting one. Um, but hopefully you can buy it sponsorless because I think I'd much rather have it sponsorless. But again, um, if it if it's a decent sponsor, it could make this shirt look even better. But if there's a possibility for a sponsorless version, I will absolutely be getting that. But that is the Chelsea kit launch, people. Right. 
Let's get into proceedings, people. Let's start with the news on Chelsea's pursuit of a centre forward. Now, from Lekeep, Chelsea have been negotiating with Montpellier for striker Eli, Eli or Eli Wahi for several days now. The first offer should be this week, guys. So maybe an offer going, excuse me, offer going in for Wahi this week, uh, which is kind of, I don't really know anything about him. Uh, I think the plan for Wahi is obviously if Chelsea get him is to send him to Strasbourg uh, in, in, in the short term. And then there's a long term plan for him at Chelsea uh, for him for him to work out. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the news. That's kind of the situation on him. In terms of the player himself, I don't know an awful lot about him. I think he was cost roughly around 30 million euros. Um, again, I think Wahi is probably. Um, how old is Wahi? He is 20 years old, guys. 20 years old. Um, Montpellier forward. He's uh, he's French, obviously. Currently plays for Montpellier. Um, and, you know, Chelsea are in talks. Chelsea considering an offer of €30 million Euros for the player. Um, obviously, Wolves have been linked with him as well. So, yeah, let, 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 let's, let, 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 let's wait, kind of wait and see what happens on that one. But again, another one that I don't really know an awful lot about and does anyone anyone in the chat know anything about Wahi? Do 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 let me know, people, because I don't know an awful lot about him. Twenty years of age, Montpellier, clearly a good player. Although I did ask did ask Euro expert, by the way, big up to Euro expert, um, whether he would be a good fit at Chelsea, and he uh, and he didn't seem to think so. Uh, his exact words to me were, uh, "Let me just find it now." Here, he said. Um, for, he said it for him. It's a no. Um, uh, he said it's a no. He doesn't do much in build up, and his main assets like pace will be less useful uh, for a team that will often come up against deep blocks. There are also, uh, and then someone's replied, he's the best young striker in league since Mbappe and Benzema. But you say no, and he said there are many names we could go through there. Ekatike still being one in competition with him, but regardless, my concern is more the team, not the players' ability. So. Again, Wahi, another young striker. Um, again, not really any... I don't think any of us know much about him. I mean, guys, who knows much about Wahi? Can you can you let me know? I mean, did, did, he, did he do decently last season? He's obviously a, a talented boy. Chelsea have clearly seen something in him if, if they're going to look to sign him. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I, I don't really know much about him at all. Um, I, I've, I've heard of him. I, I have heard of him before, but not, not an awful lot. Hope we don't loan a lot of players out again every season we seem to do this. Um, breakthrough season like Balogun, fair, fair. Uh, hope we don't loan out a lot of players again. No, I don't think we will be. Kit of Enzo, yeah, looks absolute fire. Caicedo deal in the mud, no business. Done. No, I think we need to relax a little bit on that. We're still nine days until we go on pre-season. Fulham's new are going to be another deadline deal. Uh, I, don't, I don't think the shirt's awful. Been playing first team for quite some time. I'd rather not splash 100 plus million again for any striker. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, while his contract with Montpellier until 2025. Saw a report saying if we get Kaiseido, we might not be getting another mid, which would be a mistake with the outgoings. We need another striker, but it doesn't look like we're... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Never heard of him. Do you think he will be our striker next season? No, I don't think he would be. Uh, while he is very athletic, youngster, fast, nice finishing and positioning, but I preferred that to final of him. I, 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 I'm really not sure. I really hope Broya pulls it off as our striker. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd love that. I really would like that. Um, another youngster. We need to start buying experienced players to help with our squad. I don't know anything about this kid. Why we should go all out for Vlajevic and get Kaiseido deal wrapped up. Uh, get Kaiseido promote Santos. Yeah, I, I agree with that. No, I've been watching a bit of Wimbledon, not right now, obviously. Uh, stick to Moises Kaiseido and Paolo Dubai. I don't, I'm not sure Dubai is going to happen now. Who's the striker? He's a 20-year-old kid that plays for Montpellier. Obviously, I think the club are interested in him. They like him a bit. Could potentially uh, be going in this week for him. So, yeah, let, let's kind of wait and see what happens on that. Jackson Wahi and Breyer is good striker options. Yeah, all very young. Though. A lot of raw, a lot of raw players though. Young, not massively experienced, quite raw. But again, look, this is this is obviously the route the club are looking to go down. He would obviously go on loan to Strasbourg, I believe, would be the plan initially. And then there's like kind of a a view to him being 
a, a long term success at Chelsea. Um, you know that 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 would be the plan. But other than that, I don't know an awful lot about him. And another young striker that Chelsea are linked with a bid could be going in this week, according to reports coming out of France. So yeah, I guess we just have to roll with it. Uh, any goalkeeper rumours? I think Lavakovic or Ten Mil would be a brilliant. Lavakovic, I think, is going to Fiorentina, guys. Uh, we should we should went full in for Agate. No, well, we did go for Agate, but I think PSG just offered a ridiculous wages, like 10 million euros a season, which obviously we couldn't compete with or didn't see value in. So so he went there. Uh, we should walk away from the Caicedo deal with Brighton and insist on 100 million. Uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's wait and see, guys. If going to loan him out, they might as well not bother. No, I don't think that's the case. Uh, thoughts on Poch wanting to see Martin at preseason? Yeah, no, no, no issue with it at all. You know, you've got, you've got you've got to assess all your options and then and and then and then go from there. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I would start Jackson. Fair. Uh, we need a top striker up top this season. Can't afford another year of duds in front of goal. No, absolutely. Uh, paying Agate 150k would have saved us. No, because we still would have bought. We still would have gone. Agate wouldn't have been. Um, Agate wouldn't have been the main midfield player. We still would have gone. Uh, we still would still be going after Caicedo. Um, how much is 10 mil on a weekly basis? Oh, geez, I'm terrible at maths. I don't know. If anyone wants to work that out, they can let me know. Everton, Sheffield United and Luton are going to be our new rivals. No, they're not. 22 goals and assists last season. Fair, not bad. Uh, no, it's good to see Chelsea dropping standards here. Not focus on the first 11 to win now. Happy with seven-year project for probably one league title if we're lucky. No, I, I, I don't agree with that. Uh, no way I'm staying up that late to watch preseason games. No, I won't be either. I was considering it, but... Yeah, I think it's. I, I won't be now. I was going to do watch longs for it and stuff, but like a t midnight twelve thirty kickoffs. No, I, I'm not staying up to like two two thirty in the morning to watch Chelsea play fucking Wrexham. I just catch the highlights uh, in 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 the morning. Apart from Caicedo and Lavia, any other suggestions? Amrabat would, would be about. Yeah, Amrabat's got interest from Saudi United, like Amrabat as well. But yeah. Other than that, there's not really too much more for me to add on why, other than that a bid could be going in this week and he'd more than likely spend this next season on loan at Strasbourg before then coming to Chelsea. So yeah, that's kind of that that that's that's where we're at with that one, people. But in terms of the striker situation in itself, let me bring that up on the screen as well. So Chelsea, according to this in the Nazar Kinsella and the standard, Chelsea have drawn up a striker shortlist. So they've made contact with Dusan Vlaevic. Rasmus Hoyland is admired by the club, but I think it's clear that he's, if he's going to go anywhere, it'll be to United. Victor Osiman, too expensive, as we discussed. Uh, Eli Wahi, uh, exploratory talks, as we've just been going through. And then stating that Pochettino has a long-standing interest in Roma forward Paolo Dybala, but he does not fit the age profile of a modern Chelsea target. Now, for me, people, it seems that, I mean, Lataro Martinez doesn't seem to be in uh, in the in the in the in the in the thinking at this point in time, uh, according to these latest reports. Um, so yeah, look for me. I think it looks like it's going to be it's going to be Dusan Blavich, uh, in 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 my opinion. Um, yeah, people, come on, run the likes up, guys. You know, I'm, I'm modelling the new the new training strip nicely, guys. We're almost at 50 likes on my channel. Let's get it to 60, 70 likes. Run the likes up on Chelsea Fan TV as well, people. There's almost 300 of us locked in across both channels. And guys, make sure you subscribe to both channels if you haven't done so already. Racing towards 4,000 subscribers on my channel. Need to get there before the start of the season, people. So I've just put the link in the chat. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And make sure you also subscribe to Chelsea Fan TV, guys. There's 218 of you watching over there. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And make sure, guys, you subscribe to Chelsea Fan TV as well. So, people, let's 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 run these likes up. Let's run the subs up, guys. You know, you, you've been great all week. You've been great I mean, all week. I mean, it's only Monday. You've, you've been great in general, guys. Every day I'm here doing these streams and you've been fantastic with all your support. So, yeah, if you could subscribe, if you could run the likes up, people, it would make a big, big difference. And it would mean, mean a lot to me. We are not Spurs. This is Chelsea. In my opinion, give Jackson and Breyer a chance and see him see before splashing big money for a striker. This is Poch. If any coach can get them going, it's him. Uh, yeah, for sure. But I still feel that we might need one more there. But again, I do also agree that there's no point just buying someone for the sake of it. If the market's not that good and we know the market's not that great for the centre forwards, there could be something to be said for sticking with what we've got and trying to develop what we've got and hope that we can, you know, um, 
I hope that we can get more goals from across the board. So get more goals from Mudrick, get more goals from Mudweke, Nkunku chipping in, get Breyer and Jackson chipping in, getting more guys chipping in with goals rather than signing someone to rely on the majority of our goals for. So there's certainly that potential option as well. Uh, even though Vlavic is raw and lacking the technical ability, similarly to Kane, he could be drastically improved by Poch. Absolutely, I do agree with that. Guys, we need to get moving. Striker and midfielder ASAP. New kit out of 10. I, I really like it. I'll give it an 8 or a 9. I love it. Amount of likes England team run scoring in the next Ashes test. Yeah, guys, that could be 56 all out in the next test then. Uh, what else have we got going on? He's 29. That's a good age. We can't be saying no to players that are 29 or over. No, I agree on that. Appreciate that, bro. Uh, can't walk away of Caicedo as we fed on the Garte. Brighton know it and we're having our pants down yet again. Uh, let's, 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 let's wait and see, people. Let's wait and see. Uh, without centre, without CDM, we're going to be struggling for sure. Yeah, we are going to be struggling without a defensive midfield player. But guys, it's July 9th or is it July 10th today? July 10th today. We jet off in seven days to pre-season. We've got seven days. Now, if... If it's a problem, if in seven days' time, if we haven't signed Moises Caicedo, then we can start moaning, then we can start criticising, and then we can legitimately say, guys, we are falling behind a little bit here. But until that point, I still think it's been a very good window. So let's just kind of keep... I think we need to stay calm. But at the same time, I fully appreciate that doubts are starting to creep in or worry is starting to creep in more likely that we are going to be able to get these deals done. Um, so, yeah, we've got, look, seven days till we jet off. Uh, to the preseason tour. I've always said Caicedo must be on that plane to America in seven days' time. If he's not, then we can complain. Then we can start asking what's going on. Then we can legitimately say, look, we're actually falling behind our rivals a little bit here. So yeah, for right now, it's frustrating, yes, but it's, it's certainly not panic stations. Remember, we are owned by an investment group. They only care about profit. Yeah, but the easiest way to get profit is by winning. So to, be a, to, to make money, you've got to be successful. So, you know, it's in everyone's best interests for the club to do well and, of course, to win. No, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate it. Um, hard to get a top-class striker who is ready to hit the ground running. Yeah, it really is. Caicedo and maybe Romeo Lavia. Or it could, just, it could end up being no one. Appreciate that, Max. Thank you, my guy. Uh, Jackson, Medweke, Madrid, Nkunku, Enzo, then Chilwell, James, Thiago, Silva, Fafana. Uh, yep, we need Cherky. Some of his clips remind me of Messi with his touches. Problem is, though, anyone can look good in a compilation video. That, that's, that's, that's the big thing. But... No, I, 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 I hear it. I hear it. Um, look, I think he's a talented boy. Oh, I chose going to go for him. Let's wait and see. There's not really been any news on that. Um, as per new report, Brighton's sticking. Yeah, we're going to get into all this. Um, uh, this Dybala and age thing is nonsense and would definitely benefit the team, especially bringing his experience. Yeah, look, I think Dybala would be a very good signing for Chelsea. Let's wait and see what happens. This English player hate needs to stop. Uh, Still not full of confidence in Kepa as number one. No, that's fair enough. Look, I, I don't think it would be a massive problem for another season. I really don't. I don't have an issue with it for another season either. So, yeah, let's let's let's, let's wait and see what happens with them. But he absolutely isn't the biggest problem at the club right now. Um, we don't want him got record for beating up a woman. Who's that? Uh, we will miss the amount off the bulwark. May maybe, maybe. Uh, and we still haven't bought any one of any substance. No, we haven't done yet, but let's, let's get used to it. Let's just relax a little bit. Training kit looks tough. Isn't it hot, mate? No, it's not, mate. UK's fine at the moment. That's the, the last few nights have been too hot to wear this, but now it's, it's not nice temperature, all good. Um, realistically, we need a striker, two forwards, midfielder, and a DM and a goalkeeper. No, what we need is a goalkeeper, two midfielders probably, and a centre forward, I, I would say. Um, Vivich was great for Fiorentina, but fourth event is too much of a gamble, in my opinion. Might end up with another Alvaro Morata, and he was a disaster. Maybe that's uh, that's the big question. I'm not sure. I think he's very happy at Roma. He's only been there for a year. Um, I don't think he's in a rush to go anywhere. Let, let, let's 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 wait and see. Offer the hundred million begs the H to leave. We had a world class keeper, CDM, and striker. We 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 we, we, we need those three positions. We, everyone knows this. Uh, Colwell, Caicedo, Enzo, and Kunku down the middle of this class. Yeah, I think it's I think it's good. Uh, did we sign another deal with three? No, we didn't. No, no, we we haven't. Uh, uh, not that I've not that I'm aware of. Twelfth uh, of August in four weeks, four season starts. Yep, we should have just swapped the khaki for a nana. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. It just doesn't work like that. If it was that easy, then there'd be player trades all over the gaff, but there's not. Uh, plus, we're not playing in Europe. That's a turn down for some players. Yeah, it is a turn down for some players. But again, that's that's kind of the more experienced guys towards the end of their careers. I think for the younger ones, that doesn't necessarily make 
that much of a difference. Uh, no striker means it'll be the same story as last season. We can't finish our dinner. Uh, mate, big up for the donation from Thailand. Appreciate it. Uh, guys, if you want to have your, if you want it to be guaranteed that your comments read out, you can use the super chat function. Like has been like, uh, nine W's done. I, I mean, I probably pronounced that completely wrong. Apologies if I have, but big up for the donation from Thailand and big up to all the Chelsea fans in time. But guys, if you want to use the super chat functions, guarantee that your comment gets read out, then please do. Um, what else have we got going on here, people? What do you think? What do you think our defence is going to look like the next season? I'd, James and Chilwell, Thiago Silva, possibly Levi Colwell maybe as well. It, like I think three of the positions pretty much picked themselves. The, foot, the like the other centre back partner, partner for Silva is kind of up for debate a little bit. Uh, no, absolutely not. Who has what? Uh, I'm not sure what I'm referring to. Yeah, we've got Wrexham, Brighton, Newcastle, Fulham, Dortmund. Fair, not bad. I miss our Samson kits. Yeah, they they were so good. Maybe, but I, 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 I don't think so. If Chelsea do buy while he doesn't end up on sub bench or hardly play like that for fun. Also, he'll go on loan to Strasbourg, I think. Chelsea needs a right back. We've got, we've already got Malagusto, so we don't need another one. Uh, Caicedo or Alvarez, the Kaku swap deal for Anana. Uh, I'll take Caicedo. Anana's going to Man United, so we can forget about that. And I'll take Vlahovic over Mitrovic. Thoughts on the Balogun link? Uh, the Balogun, like, that's nice. Uh, rubbish, I would say. Utter rubbish. Uh, haven't seen, haven't seen anything at all, uh, or, or to, to suggest that. I haven't seen anything. So, um, yeah, uh, I think that's nonsense. Uh, Roman would never let Arsenal outspend Chelsea in the transfer market. Well, we have, the transfer market is not finished. Uh, David De Gea is available on a free transfer. Do you think we should sign him? No, I don't think we should sign him. I would buy Vlavic. He, he's big, will get stronger. Yeah, he's good. Coming from France, while he a much higher level player than Datro. Yeah, exactly. He already is. Already is. Exactly. Good point. Keep in mind that Allegri's football at Juve is shocking and harming not only him, but the likes of Chiesa as well. So in a fresh system, it might be worth a gamble, especially in the market. Yeah, quite possibly. Quite possibly. Um, every other clubs are getting deals over the line. We seem slow. Hope we're not playing too safe and end up shooting ourselves in the foot. No, I, I, don't, think, I don't think we will. There's always a chance, I suppose, that could happen. But I look... At this point in time, until we get on, until we, until we're in America and, and on pre-season, then I will start criticising if things haven't happened, if deals aren't in place. But until that point, I think we still need to remain calm. That Wahi guy seems an odd character. I mean, I, I don't know anything about him yet. Rahman's gone from Chelsea finally. Very interesting. So excited this season. So many young lads in this squad. Yeah, I think there's there's lots of reason to be excited, but we absolutely have to add the key areas of the squad that that need improving. We absolutely must do that because otherwise, you know, that the excitement for this season could quickly disappear if we don't address the deficiencies uh, of last season because we absolutely have to do that. Uh, yeah, we're going to get into that Lukaku stuff. Uh, Malagusto's right back. Yeah, go to Allianz. They, they didn't offer us enough money. They only offered us 20 million, half as much as what three offered us. Yeah, no, we, we, will, we will get a sponsor. We will get a sponsor. Uh, if Caicedo is still in Brighton when we play them in America and he dominates our midfield again, yeah, that 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 is that 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 that's kind of the issue here. If he does really well against us, that Brighton will be like, right, we're going to add a few more zeros onto the end of that price tag. Uh, what's the gas on test? Oh, it's like it's like a, a running test that Pochettino does. So, like, you run three hundred meters, then you rest forty five seconds, and you repeat it a, a, a set number of times. That's a Pirelli as our sponsor if possible. Pirelli could be decent, but again, I don't think that's going to happen. But who knows? Someone said a player has a charges for assaulting a woman. Oh, I've I've absolutely no, oh that's in re reference to someone someone ridiculously suggested that we should be signing Greenwood. So that, that must be referring to that. But we absolutely won't be doing that. Um, uh, right now we only have Bettinelli and Kepper on goalkeeper. We got we obviously have Sel Selena as well, but I don't think he's ready. Um, looking out to Strasbourg, how, learning out to Strasbourg. How does that make sense? And potentially it's better than Jackson. Um. I, 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 I'm not sure what the, the plan is. We'll have to wait and see for further information. Would you rather sign Sancho or Richardson? Sancho. Uh, Chelsea need Cherky to be efficient in the box. Fair. Have you been watching the 2000 goal live video on Chelsea's channel? Maybe miss our impact subs. I haven't been watching it, but no, Kalu and Manu did really good jobs. Uh, love your streams. Appreciate that, bro. Really appreciate it. We have a new model, Brighton FC. Uh, good. We were bad at rain last year. We were massively lacking fitness. Joey, hope you're good. Big up, my guy. Uh, Nigel, big up. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, we've, we were going to get into all this. 
right. Uh, I think this whole comparison of Vlavic being like Morata is nonsense. Two seasons ago, when Dusan was at Florence, him and Haaland, two most talked about strikers. One has strived, the other wasted. Yeah, look, just because Vlavic's not done particularly well at Juventus doesn't mean that he's suddenly become a shit player. He is still a he's still a very good player, very talented boy, loads of potential there. I think he just needs the right system and the right manager to push him on and, and unlock how good he is because there really is a talented boy there. Uh, bad to bring African players because of the AFCON middle of the season. Yeah, we obviously will be losing Jackson to the AFCON uh, in January. So something's going to have to happen there. Uh, I think we'll pull out the car. No, I don't think we will. I think we're too far down the river now on this one uh, to be put to be pulling out. Uh, Ossiman would be the ideal candidate for Chelsea. No, way too expensive. We're not going to get him. Uh, Evan Ferguson from Brighton is better than all the struggles we're looking at. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say so. I think Vlajevic just needs to change a club in senior. I'd agree. Uh, not having a player for preseason hurts the development. Yeah, I, I would agree. You need to the, the the main players need to be in for preseason. Preseason massively important. It is hugely important. Uh, uh, what else have we got on here? Liverpool lose Milner and McAllister. Uh, things are still happening for Chelsea outgoings. That should finally leads the club to join Uni in Berlin on loan until next June. No bar option. Great loan, as we discussed last night. Really good. Uh, probably De Gea, but they're both they're both on the way down. So yeah. Anyway, guys, it looks like situation with with the striker. Um, yeah, just at, at this point in time, obviously Wahi is going to be seem seemingly be another, another one for the future. Looks like a bit. A bit, excuse me, could be going in this week. Um, but and then the, I think the plan would be to loan him to Strasbourg and then look at him the following season at Chelsea. But again, let's wait and see what happens on that one. But yeah, it looks like a move for Wahi, the 20 year old, could be coming soon, guys. So it could be another youngster joining Chelsea and then being sent out on loan to Strasbourg in terms of like a, a more senior centre forward and more of a, a main centre forward, quote unquote, you might refer to them as. There's not really much doing the rounds at the moment. Ossiman too expensive. Hoyland looks like he's going to go to Man United if he goes anywhere. And then obviously there's a link with Dusan Vlajevic, but again he could cost 70, 75 million euros. So we're kind of, we're kind of as we were in 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 the striking department. There's not an awful lot going on in in terms of recruitment people in at, at this point in time. I think that's something that will definitely change after preseason. I think that's something that we will see accelerate after preseason. But I think right now, in the next nine days, I don't, I don't see much movement with a centre forward other than Wahi uh, before we jet off to the states. Um, but yeah, what else is popping off here, people? Anuchka, uh, appreciate that. I hope I pronounced that properly. Hit, hit the like button, people. Just going through almost every comment here. Yeah, I, I try my best to get through as many as I can, guys. Make sure you keep running these likes up, though. Seventy-six of you locked in on my channel. Only fifty-eight likes, guys. Ramp these likes up. Let's get these to 70. Every person in here, if you could just click that like button if you haven't done so already, hover over that thumb. Don't be shy. You're always great with the streams. Really appreciate each and every single one of you that tunes in night after night. So yeah, if you could just click that thumb button, it would massively, massively help me out. I'd really appreciate it. And so yeah, guys, run those likes up. Own, uh, let's get it to 80 likes if we can on my channel. Another 20 likes. Let's run it up, people. Exactly the same on Chelsea Fan TV. Keep running those likes up, guys. Uh, love the recruitment from Brazil, but Africa has talent too. Yeah, there's there is talent in Africa, but I'm not sure. I'm sure the club is scouting there as well. Uh, Kepa last chance saloon. Yep, while he's being bought for Strasbourg. Yeah, I, I think he basically is. Oh, Rahman is gone. Yeah, he's he's gone. Uh, Evan Ferguson's a fantastic young player. I have to agree with the previous comment. He's young but very mature and has it all. Uh, yeah, I think he will get a big money money move soon. But again, there's no rush. I think maybe in a couple of seasons' time, when he's had more time to push on. I do believe that he will absolutely uh, become a top, top player and 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 he'll get a move to a big club for sure. Uh, we'll end up with Paul Pogba knowing I like, no, I don't think so. Um, Breo will, hang, will bang with Poch. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. I hope so. Behind you 100%, get rid of the Deadwood, then sort the squad. No, no, so not panicking, have faith in Poch, I say, a day at a time, guys. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, if City sell Silva to Al Halal for 70 mil, do you think they'll go after Kaiseido? No, I don't think they will. And I hope that Bernardo Silva doesn't go to Saudi Arabia because he is an unbelievable footballer. It would be such a waste. Uh, Conor Gallagher working hard before returning to preseason. Yep. Ramos from Benfica. Uh, great option to buy, but again, like Osman overpriced. Yeah, I don't think Rui Costa is going to want to see us again after those Enzo negotiations. Uh, thoughts on when Stanley's job so far is deal for Kaiseido is excessively long, and that's the opposite that they intended. 
No, I, I don't think. I think they they what they intended was to get this deal kind of done as quickly as possible in terms of not having a drawn out negotiation process. They almost want it to be just a one and done bid. What's your price? Let, let's discuss the structure. Put the bid in, and then it gets accepted, and we're done. So we're not in a situation mm. where we're taking weeks, and we have to, um, you know, put multiple bids in, and 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 that sort of thing, guys. Um. Yeah, I really, I really like Gonzalo Ramos, but again, be way too expensive. Uh, Chucky is going to be the best player in the world just years to come. Uh, so Chelsea might try and sign him before he, he will be putting a hundred million for in two years' time. Look, I think Chucky is obviously very highly sought after, a very uh, talented boy. Um, but yeah, could be definitely one of the best in the world for sure. Uh, don't didn't want American owners in the first place, given the disasters of United and Arsenal. I mean, Arsenal. No one's moaning about Arsenal's owners now that they're spending money. Arsenal fans have gone very quiet on the Cronky. So you can tell that football is kind of quite quite a fickle sport in that way. Yep. As Max says, guys, keep smashing those likes, people. Keep running the likes up, guys. Uh, it really makes a big, big difference. Uh, I'd say Abraham, but yeah. Uh, Chelsea should sign Cherky and Caicedo. Fair. Uh, we're signing too many strikers now. Uh, I don't think we are. Uh, 116 likes on Chelsea Fan TV. Let's get those up. Does Broya count as dead wood? No, nope, because he's not surplus to requirements at the club. So let, 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 let's wait and see what happens with him. Vlavic isn't elite. He's also 24. Vlavic has got very good potential still. I think there's a, there's a really good player in there. So yeah, let's wait and see how he develops still. If he develops on the Pochettino, which I'm sure he will, then yeah, I think there's lots to be excited about with Vlavic. But again, the striker market is not great. Uh, no, Brighton would be way more expensive than that. It's a Premier League club. Uh, yeah, we're going to get into all this. Man United was all over that Sesco kid last window. That's because he's gone to RB Leipzig. Um, um, I wouldn't be surprised if Chelsea used Cole. No, I don't think we will. I don't think we will. Gorath, big up, my guy. Uh, never heard of this Cherky place of uh, Leon. Very talented boy. Why aren't we going for Amrabat? Uh, I, I just don't think he's in the plans uh, in terms in terms of the recruitment, guys. Um. Colwell will get chopped. I, I, I honestly don't think he will. He's 23 years old. You can just tell when someone is talking about a player they've never watched. <laughs> yeah, you, you absolutely can. Uh, Vlahovic is injury prone. No, I don't, look, everyone picks up injuries. I, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't classify Vlahovic as, as an injury prone player. But yeah, guys, that kind of rounds out the the sort of the striker conversation. People it looks like while he could a big could be going in this week and then loaned out to Strasbourg if he does join. Other than that, no real news on the centre forward front people right let's move away from center forwards guys and let's move on to uh actually let's stick with center forwards very briefly guys because we are going to unfortunately talk about everyone's favorite subject Romelu Lukaku so um let me just get this up quickly um Romelu Lukaku oh that's not that one no, let me get rid of that we're going to move on to that in a sec actually because that's really good what Pochettino is, is, is doing and something that should have been sorted out a long time ago uh is here right so nope not that one fuck you know I'm having an absolute shocker here guys bear with me um so many tabs open um not that one. Oh, yeah, this is the one, people. Right, we're there. We've got there. We've got there. Right. So according to this is a Belgian journalist. And again, Lukaku has reiterated the fact that he doesn't want to go to Saudi and wants to stay in Europe and Inter is his only destination. But Al Hilal is still keeping hope alive that Romelu Lukaku joins them. They have offered him a 70.3 million package over three years, with the first year being 27 million. As it stands, the Saudi club is the only team willing to pay Chelsea's asking price of 40 million. Although Lukaku wants to stay in Europe, he is thinking of the Saudi offer. So at this point in time, guys, we're obviously trying to get 40 million for Romelu Lukaku if we can. I think Inter Milan are going to come back with another improved offer. Um, so let's kind of wait and see. But, you know, at the same time, people, you know, this is this is what we're looking at at the moment is Lukaku is due back at pre-season training, I think, tomorrow or Wednesday. And I don't think a deal is going to be concluded by then, guys. So, yeah, it looks like Lukaku will be coming back to Cobham. Uh, and we probably will. I don't know if we'll see him in, in any training photos, but he will absolutely be returning to Cobham tomorrow, I think, or Wednesday. Um, but, yeah, obviously, Al Halal would like to sign Lukaku. He's insistent that he wants to stay in Europe. But if a deal can't be agreed between Chelsea and Inter, then I would have a quick look. Uh, I, I, I would keep an eye out, sorry, for... For Lukaku and Inter and uh, sorry Al Hilal, 
because that 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 could potentially happen. That 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 could potentially happen. Uh, why why are we hyping up Cole? It's like exploiting a youngster who still has so much to do. No, but no, look, I think there's massive ability and talent there with Colwell. Um, he's he's proven it, you know, on uh, at Brighton in the Premier League. You know, he's clearly proven he's a top top player. So. Yeah, obviously, sometimes the hype might go a little bit over the top, but there absolutely is talent there, and he's one of the best young centre-backs in European football. If Arsenal get their top target in Rice and we can't get our top target... Uh, no, I think we will get our... Well, I think we will get Caicedo, guys. Lukaku better put up some money to help Inter fund his move. You yeah, know, Lukaku will report back to Chelsea, guys. He, he has to. That's like 450 k per week they offer Lukaku. Yeah, Saudi got silly money. Lukaku was one of the best... Struggles in the world's uh, second half of the season. I'm surprised we haven't sold him yet. Uh, yeah. Uh, get Lukaku away from our young kids. Another no-name brand. Uh, Lukaku needs to stay away from the first team. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Lukaku's one of the best struggles. Uh, you know, I don't think he is. We can't hype up Colwell too much. It's going to create a divide like what Mount did. Uh, we have more chance of seeing Santa at Cobham than Lukaku. Lukaku's going to have to... We'll be reporting back to Cobham this week. The youth will be infected with Lukaku bad habits of missing. Player clear out of waste of time and, and money, spending a lot to blow our squad. We're not bloating the squad. That, 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 that's the point. All these people that are being sold aren't being replaced. Otherwise, we're just simply not trimming the squad down. And we, we, are, we are trimming the squad down. Everyone that's going to be sold is not going to be, um, uh, what do you call it? Is not going to be replaced. If we can get a, if we can get a tune out, a turn in it, if Lukaku will cook, no, Lukaku's not going to do anything at Chelsea. But yeah, so that, that's, that's the latest from Lukaku. He, he wants to stay at Inter. He doesn't want to go to Saudi, but, you know, he is giving the Saudi office some thought, uh, according to this report. Um, but yeah, I think Lukaku's due back at training uh, this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, as I said. And then we'll go from there. But yeah, again, again, that's kind of the latest at the Lukaku situation. I, I can't see a deal being struck by Wednesday with Inter. For Lukaku, but let 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 let's wait and see on that front. And I think another good thing that uh, Pochettino has been doing as well, guys, is this. Uh, let me just get into it really quickly. Where is it? Uh, is that he's kind of set up two separate um, groups at training, which is really important. So what's happening here is that Ronald Lukaku and Ethan Ampadu are also expected to return, but are expected to be of a separate loan group, which already features Callum Hudson-Odoi. The group headed up by Carlo Cudicini consists mainly of players who were on loan last season and are available for sale. Now, I I, 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 I really like this. This is something that should have happened under Graham Potter, but obviously it didn't, is that there's two separate groups. One for the guys that are committed and want to be here, and one for the guys that were on loan last season and are obviously available to, to be sold as well. They need to be training separately, kept away from the main group because they're not part of the plans. And that's, it might sound harsh, but that is exactly how it should be. Exactly how it should be. So, you know, I I, I, I think this is a really good thing that we are obviously doing this. Um, This should have happened, this should have happened last season. This should have happened a long time before it has happened. But now we've finally got a serious manager in place who is laying the law down, putting his foot down and, and obviously letting letting everyone know who is boss on 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 this front and it it it, it really is great to see um that we that we're operating like this and it's the, it's the, and it's the best thing you know we absolutely have to have players that don't want to be at the club and looking to be sold to be training separately so i think that's a really good thing that that Pochettino has been doing um uh, if we really sell most of our dead wood, we're making somewhere around 300 mil with net spend. Uh, yeah, look, the, the, the clear out has been phenomenal. There's no two ways about it. The clear out has been absolutely superb. It really has. Uh, see the, the door hit big. <laughs> Lukaku should do walk of shame in Cobham. Yeah, I would take Ivan Tony at Chelsea, but we're not going to get him, I don't think, now. Uh, take 25 mil, just get rid. I think we'll get 35 potentially for him, so let's wait and see on that front. Ampadu is just not really going to cut it at Chelsea. I don't think he's really. He's. He, I think he's going to go to Udinese in Italy. They seem to hold interest in him. Uh, do you think Poch will bring in one player from PSG or Spurs? No. Um. Yeah, we're going to get. We're going to get rid of Lukaku. We are going to get rid of him. The same thing of two separate teams happened with Tuchel. Did it? Do you think Carney can be a backup right wing? No, I don't think so. I. 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 I don't think so. Uh. Why does Lukaku have to come back? He needs to stay away from the... Uh, because he's contracted to come back. 
Le Celso, no, not good enough. Hoiberg, not good enough. Uh, Lukaku for 35 to 45 minutes is still for anyone who signs him. I, I, I wouldn't say so. Um, yeah, but bro, this the, the window's not even finished. Like, you're acting like the window's finished. Like, we're in July 10th. Like, there's no need to be getting, like, annoyed about things at this point in time. Um, Poch is getting us Harry Kane next year. I, I, I would love that, but let's, let's be real, guys. That absolutely isn't happening. Um, but yeah, that, that that that's good to see on that. And another thing which is also uh, good to see, people, is that um, the guys have been working hard in the first week of preseason. Um, and Mizar Cancelo said that a source uh, described to him that the first week of preseason training under Pochettino, one source said they have been worked really hard. It has been a harder first week than the whole of the last preseason. They will be machines. This year will be different. These boys are getting worked. And that is exactly what we need. It just confirms that last preseason was an absolute farce. It just didn't set the tone for the season. Oh, it did set the tone for the season, but for all the wrong reasons. Players weren't fit. Really poor amount of work done. Uh, a complete waste of time. Uh, it was it was an utter shamble. So it's great that we've had this kind of, you know, at a first week of really, really good work under our belts at Cobham. Um, work on that fitness. They, the boys have been worked hard again. We're going to really push on uh, in, in in this second week before we before we jet off to the state. So, yeah, it really has been a. It really has been a, 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 a real, real welcome thing that Pochettino is a the gaffer and B, that he's working the boys hard and taking this preseason training seriously like it should be. It feels like for the last, certainly last season, that uh, um, uh, that things weren't being done properly at, at, at the training ground, you know? And and it, it was clear with the results on the pitch, you know? You set the standards in training, and the standards were obviously fucking terrible. So I, I, kind of as as we suspected, you know, as as we suspected people, but yeah. Great to see that that is taking place, guys. Really, really important to see that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted that the boys are working hard. Poch is putting them through their paces. Um, what else have we got to discuss, people? Well, we've got the Moises Caicedo thing to discuss, and we've got Hakim Ziyech. Oh, there was one thing as well that I wanted to mention, it, and it does revert to what people were banging on about with experience. And I think this is Nazar again. There's Miguel Delaney from The Times. So Mauricio Pochettino has consulted with the Chelsea hierarchy over whether to add more experience in attack with Juventus, Dusan Vlahovic and Roma's Paolo Dybala, two of the names brought up. The recruitment team are sympathetic to Pochettino's argument that a certain amount of experience is required to balance that. So, yeah, look, I think it's really important that Pochettino is, 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 feels confident and brave enough to, to put his thoughts forward and saying that we do we might need some more experience uh, in, in, in the attacking areas. So, you know, it's really good that there seems to be an open two-way dialogue between the club and they look like they could be prepared to to listen to to what he has to say, um, which is important. And I hope you know that the club do. Um, I hope the club do obviously um, kind of listen to the manager and 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 do give him kind of what he wants, I suppose. Which 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 is important that we do do that. Um, but yeah, let, let's kind of wait and see on that front if any ex extra experience comes in or not. I don't expect much experience to come in before we jet off uh, for the preseason tour, but. Yeah, let's kind of wait and see uh, what happens, guys, on 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 that front, people. Right, let's get rid of that one. We're going to quickly talk Hakim Ziyech, guys, because it seems like we cannot get rid of this guy. So it's being reported that Al Ali could try for Hakim Ziyech after he rejected Al Nasser's altered offer. So at this point in time, Hakim Ziyech had been all set to join Al Nasser, people. Just quickly re is recap it. Um, was set to join Al Nasser. Uh, flagged up in a medical that he had knee and hip issues. Al Nasser was still happy to sign the player, but they altered the offer by reducing the base salary by 40%. That offer was still on the table until Hakim Ziyech rejected it today. Um, so now we're kind of back at square one. Ch Hakim Ziyech is still at Chelsea and we've got no, um, and we've got no takers for him at this point in time. Hopefully another Saudi club is saying that, uh, Ben Jacobs saying that Al Ali could potentially come in for him. That would be, that would be ideal. I think it's where Edouard Mendy went. So he'd be teammates again with Mendy. Uh, that would be really ideal that if a Saudi club could help us out, because I do think realistically, if no Saudi club 
if, uh, if, if Saudi don't come in for Ziyech, then I think we've got a problem in the fact that I'm not sure where the market is for Ziyech outside of Saudi Arabia, guys. Uh, that, 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 that's, that's kind of the issue that we've got uh, at this point in time, people, is where is the market for Hakim Ziyech outside of Saudi Arabia? Um, but yeah, that's, that's just a quick update on, 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 on Ziyech. Um, Stevie G teams, yeah, Al Etifak, I think it's called. Maybe we could go with him. Uh, yeah, it would be a joke, but this, the window's not closed. We will, we will bring someone in. Uh, Interfield that having Roman Lukaku's will to remain at the club on the side will help them to negotiate a lower fee with Chelsea. Look, I think ultimately this could end up being maybe £30 million with add ons. We just need to get it sorted one way or another, that's for sure. But yeah, that's the latest on Hakim Ziyech, guys. Officially rejected Al Nasser's altered offer. Al Ali from Saudi could come in for him, um, but let's 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 wait and see uh, on that front again. Ziyech maybe to MLS, who knows? Um, do you want him in Chelsea? No, I don't want Ziyech at Chelsea. Not good enough. Uh, doesn't want to be at the club. We need to get rid as soon as possible. Uh, right, guys. Let's. I know we touched on it a little bit earlier, but let's move on to the Moises Caicedo stuff. But first things first, people. Let's run the likes up. Over 300 of us locked in across both channels. Only 64 likes on my channel, guys, with 70 of you still locked in, people. So make sure you hit the like button, people. Just hover hover over that thumb button. Give it a little click. It does really, really help me out. It means a lot. It spreads the stream far and wide. It really helps with the algorithm as well. So it makes more, it brings more people in to watch. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you could just hit the thumb button, it would mean so much to me. So, yeah, guys, let's run these likes up, particularly on my channel, people, 65 likes. Let's get it to at least 80 likes if we can. And the same over on Chelsea Fan TV, guys. Get these likes up over 100, over 150 if we can, people. And make sure, guys, that you subscribe to both channels if you haven't done so already. I am racing towards 4,000 subscribers before the season starts. Every new subscriber is massively appreciated. So guys, if you haven't subscribed, my channel is now in the chat. Make sure you click the link and click that subscribe button, people. You know, you're all generous. You're all fantastic people. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And the 233 of you also watching on Chelsea Fan TV, I'm sure you aren't all subscribed. So if you could subscribe, guys, that would be greatly appreciated. And also, please do subscribe to Chelsea Fan TV. One subscriber away from 192,000 subs, guys. So one of you subscribe. Take us to that 192k mark. Um, but yeah, people, run the likes up. Subscribe to both channels. It is massively, massively appreciated. But yes, let's get into the Moises Caicedo stuff. So it's been reported that... Uh, Brighton sources have stated that Moises Caicedo will not be going anywhere unless the club's valuation of in the region of £100 million is met. They also maintain Chelsea is far from their valuation. What's this guy saying? Um, as of close, uh, close of work today, Brighton sources still maintain Chelsea is far away from their valuation of Caicedo and the player will return to pre-season this week before flying out with them to the States next week. Now, Again, this this is a problem, uh, potentially a problem brewing. But again, Chelsea have been locked in talks with Brighton for a number of days, people, a number of days, you know, thrashing out uh, the, 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 you know, the, 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 the structure of the deal, the payment terms, how that's going to work, what sort of fee they are, that they, 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 they're going to want. But yeah, I, I, I do agree, guys, the Caicedo saga is becoming boring because, we're just getting the same news recycled over and over. You know, there's not really any new news at all on this front. I think we're still waiting for Chelsea to to put a bid in. Um, no bid's gone in yet. I presume the reason no bid's gone in yet is because Chelsea wants to make absolute sure that they know what the exact price that Brighton want is and they can agree to the payment structure as well so that a deal can be done very quickly. Um, so, yeah, we do need to... To get a move on with this, we do need to get this done as quickly as we possibly can, guys. But ultimately, you know, it looks like Brighton are playing hardball with us, which is 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 what we should is what we should expect um, for sure. But you know, I I, I would find it really really disappointing, and I, I I really would if if this deal didn't get done because there, there, there's there's no way this this shouldn't get done, but Brighton seems to be playing hardball. They really do. Not getting anyone in this week. Ugh. 
I know it's near the start of the week, but it is, yeah, I'll tell you what, it is, it, I, I have to be honest, it is, a, it is looking like a slight concern potentially that we might not get anyone in, but it's, I don't know, it's, t- it's tough to tell. Um, let, 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 let's, let's wait and see what happens on, on this one. Uh, but again, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I've got a feeling something is waiting to happen. Something's waiting to happen. Uh, yeah, it's getting boring. We need to get a deal done. First, Cucurella. Now, Kaiseido, they're screwing us again. <laughs> Wait, what they think we are. Sugar Daddy of world football. Uh, Brighton are playing hardball, it seems. Yeah, it looks like they are. Uh, Moises Kaiseido saga rumbles on. I was confident about this, but as every day passes, it's worrying. Um, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Uh, I hate Brighton so much. This little man club trying to bully us for paying 100 mil. What fucking frauds. Honestly, we should never do business with these melts ever again. Uh... Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing much business with them after Kai said it. Well, hopefully not anyway. I said it before, we, sh- we should get sucked in. We seem to think we will implode without Kai Sado. No, we're not going to implode, but we do desperately need him. He's our number one target. So we do absolutely have to do everything we possibly can to uh, to get him. And I still think the club are doing everything they possibly can to get him. Uh, but we also need to realise that, you know, the longer this drags on, I guess the more worried you feel about it. Brighton have Europa League this year and Caicedo is their best player. What do we really expect? We have to meet the valuation. He has five years left on his current deal. Look, we do have, to an extent have to meet the valuation, but also, you know, Caicedo wanted to leave in January. He signed a new contract and he wouldn't have signed that new contract without the premise of being allowed to leave for a, for a set fee. If Brighton get a set fee for him, then he will be then he will be allowed to leave. Um, so let's wait and see. Um, what happens kind of on that front, people? We're going to have to wait and see what happens on that front. Um, but yeah, I, I, look, it's, it's it's an annoying one. It is an annoying one. Uh, Chelsea will sign Kai Zeta from Brighton in 2047. Yeah, probably. Chelsea are big club, CAA Mafia, where have you been? Uh, just get Kai Zeta and blacklist them like Tottenham football. <laughs> Would you... Be, would you be okay with them getting 100 mil off for Caicedo? Should we not have a place in this negotiations where we just admit it's time to forget about it? Uh, no, I don't think Chelsea will walk away from this. No, I think they will get it done. And whether we do end up paying 100 million pounds uh, over over five years, then then so be it. If it costs 20 million a year to get Caicedo, I think we simply just have to do it. I don't think we're in a position to be walking away from this because then who do you go and get? You are You are kind of in big trouble. Just waiting for the done deal. I, I know the feeling, bro. I know the feeling. Chelsea will buy Caicedo next year for 120 million after he dominates Europa League. Uh, we should not forget how Brighton are playing hardball with us when we already gave them a lot for money for Cucurella and Potter. We should not deal with them anymore after the Caicedo deal is done. No, I don't think we'll be getting any more players from Brighton necessarily after the Caicedo deal is done. Unless we potentially fancy Evan Ferguson in a few years and we could go back there. Who knows? Didn't Caicedo and Deserve have an agreement for 85 million that would allow him to leave? There is there is a there is a gentleman's agreement in place with Caicedo and Deserve for him to leave the club if a fee is given. I think it's around 80, 85 million pounds, but there's no concrete reports on that. Uh I don't know, bro. Probably not that long. Uh Caicedo not only makes us way better, he unlocks Enzo. Absolutely. Don't understand why we don't have great relations even after we gave 60. No, I think we do have, no, we do have good relations. It's just obviously Brighton have got a set valuation for the player and we've got, uh, we've got a a set valuation for the player as well. So yeah, it, you know, let's see what happens. This will take a lot of negotiating. I think, look how long it took for us to eventually get Enzo. It it took weeks and weeks and uh, weeks of back and forth. And we eventually got the deal done. It could be something similar with Kai Sader, but ultimately, yes, we need him on the plane for preseason. But the most important thing is, is that we get this deal done, people. This deal must be done. That's the most important thing. Uh, after Kai Sader, I hope we never deal with Brighton again. Rice had a year left and we got 105. We got 65 for Havertz and we expect Brighton to give him up for 80 on a new deal. <laughs> 80 million fee plus 15 to 20 in bonuses. Yeah, I, I think that's a fair deal. I think obviously Brighton will want a large chunk of it up front for sure. Uh, what do you think about Florentino Luis for Chelsea? I think he plays with Benfica, doesn't he? But I, I'll, I'll be real. I don't know an awful lot about him. I really don't. Um, 100 mil will have better payment terms for us. Yeah, exactly. This, this is the thing. If we do go to 100 mil, it would be much better payment terms for us. So maybe that's something that actually could potentially work in our favour. Um, 
I probably would, yes, if, it, if it's more preferable payment terms. We showed our desperation now, Brighton are adding tens of millions. As much as I want him, we are paying way too much at 80 mil, let alone 100 mil for a player who's been great but not messy. Fair. Do you, I, I, I would. If it gets us more preferable payment structure, then yeah, I, 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 I excuse me, I would do it. Um, Chelsea will look like a laughing stock if we give Midrick 100 and don't get Caicedo this year. What do you mean, give Midrick 100? 100 what? Um, look. The, 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 look, let's wait and see on the Kaiseido one again. It's, it's frustrating. It's one that, you know, we'd all love it to be done as quickly as possible. These things always take time. So, yeah, let's uh, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see what, what happens with this one. I mean, I I, I don't know. It's, it's going to be an, an, an interesting one for sure. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I don't know when we're going to get an answer for this. I really don't know when we're going to get an answer. Uh, Caicedo needs to join Chelsea for preseason. Absolutely does. As I said a few years ago, they last for 100 mil. I was right. And that is not all. They want a lot in advance. We need to quit and go for Cherky and Lavia. Uh, Cherky and Lavia will cost more than 100 million, I think. Or uh, we should just walk from the Caicedo deal. No, we absolutely shouldn't walk from the Caicedo deal because we desperately need him. So, yeah, we won't be walking uh, from, from the Caicedo deal, guys. We, we, can't, we can't afford to do that. We, we really can't. I, I, I do think a deal... Will absolutely be made, but I think it just could take a little bit longer than we than we want it to. All fans and supporters pay as it adds to ticket prices. Much as I don't agree, it's not your money narrative. Uh, only if it's Champions League, the agreement. Uh, no, I don't think so. When Brighton get relegated, we'll be celebrating. I don't think they will be, to be honest. Uh, what what they are trying to is somehow force us to include Colwell in the deal. No, I, I don't think they are. I think Brighton have got the message. They know that Levi Colwell is not for sale and is uh, is not going to be part of the deal. Uh, Brighton have to give us give Caicedo's previous team 20% of this sale. Uh, I didn't know that. Is that the case? Alternative to Caicedo, there's not many out there. Maybe Romeo Lavia, but I still think we should be getting both if we can. Caicedo has to play with Chelsea teammates so as to prepare for next season. Yep. Uh, no, he's not said anything about the transfer himself. No, not, not that I've seen. Uh, we should have went all out for Rice. Yeah, unfortunately, we, we, we didn't get Rice. Rice didn't want to join us. Um, I'm still surprised that Rice has wanted to join Arsenal, in, in, all, in all honesty. Uh, no disrespect to them, but I am I am surprised that he wanted to go there. But yeah, guys, that's the latest on Moises Caicedo. Brighton is still demanding £100 million. Uh, he's going to report back for pre-season uh, this week. And then, and then they're flying to the States next week. So yeah, let's let's kind of wait and see what happens on that. There's no, no new news, really. Um, and let's hope for more updates this week. On it, but yeah, people. If you've got any thoughts in the chat, any questions you want answering, I'm gonna I'm gonna round this one out in the next couple of minutes, guys. So any questions you've got about anything, bang them in the chat, guys. I'll get through them, and then we will, and then we will um, get on. Then we'll then we'll round this one out. Twenty uh, percent to Independiente de Vela, just like River Plate fair. Um, too many deal with Madrid was like eighty five. Yeah, look, if we do eighty five plus fifteen fair. Let's just get it done. Yeah, personal terms are all boxed off and agree with Caicedo. He wants the move. He's happy to come. We just got to agree a fee with Brighton. Oh, Eli Wahi, I think. I, I could be pronouncing his first name wrong, but Wahi. Um, Montpellier, 20 years old, striker. Uh, a lot of promise, a lot of potential. Uh, but again, um, would be one would be one for the future. Wouldn't go into the first team now. I think we'd go on loan to Strasbourg. Uh, I imagine Caicedo would sign at least a six-year contract at Chelsea. Uh, no, imagine him going to America on the Brighton plane and going back to England on the Chelsea plane. Mate, if, that, if, that, if that's what it takes, if that's what happens, as long as we get him done, as long as we get it done, guys, I'm uh, I'm fully here for it. I really am fully here for it. Uh, in my opinion, we should pay 100 mil for Kaiseido because he's the only player in the transfer market that fits Chelsea offensively and defensively. I, I would pay for him while he's tall, fast, decent in the air, but he is lazy and though He's only 20, so he can develop a lot still. 100 for a player we can have for 10 years won't look bad. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. This while he gets bad news, very dodgy past. Uh, I don't know about his past, but yeah, guys, I think I'm going to look. Uh, it's payment method that seems to be the sticking point. Yeah, it always is, always is. You know, it's not necessarily the overall fee. It's about how much of that money is going to be paid up front. That is the, that's the big thing. That is the big thing. Um, so yeah, let's, let, let, let's wait and see on that one, guys. But yeah, I think people, this is a good way to round out. Yeah. 30 edits big up. Do you think 
Chelsea are lacking experience through the spine of the team. Uh, yeah, at this point in time, but, you know, spine at the moment, we need a new goalkeeper at some point, but you've got Colwell, Silva, uh, Caicedo, Enzo, and Kunku forming part of the spine. The spine is getting there. Fit yet, it's big up. Uh, got to be linked, got to be done to be linked with Enzo. Yeah, for sure. We need the link up with Enzo. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to start to round this one out, people. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, make sure, people, that you subscribe to my channel on your way out and subscribe to Chelsea Fan TV on the way out. Guys, if we can get another three subscribers on my channel, it'll be another, another mini milestone, people. But yeah, as many of, of you as you can on the way out. Still 294 of us here. If all of you, I mean, it's, no, it's not going to happen, but if the majority of you could click that link, subscribe to my channel, it would be massively, massively appreciated. I appreciate each and every single one of you for tuning in each night. So if you could just subscribe to the channel, it would be massively, massively uh, thankful from myself. And people, make sure you subscribe to Chelsea Fan TV as well whilst you're at it. So subscribe to both channels on the way out and subscribe uh, sorry, and smash the likes as well. But guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. People are looking to get to 4K before the start of the season. So yeah, if we can get as many subscribers on the way out as possible, that would be great. Make sure you run the likes up as well, people. 82 likes. Now let's try and get it to 90 on your way out. Run those likes up on Chelsea Fan TV. Big up to everyone that has joined in. Uh, thank you, bro. Thanks for tuning in. Big up. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, subbed. Thanks. Take care, Charlie. Appreciate it, bro. But yeah, guys, new kits launched today. Brighton still playing hardball over Caicedo. Lukaku and Inter, still no deal. Uh, Chelsea potentially making a move for Eli Wahi, the 20-year-old Montpellier striker. Uh, Pre-season preparations are going well. Let's see what tomorrow's got in store for us. Hopefully some really good news, but, you know, let, let, let's wait and see. I'm not hopeful on that front. But yeah, people, thank you so much for tuning in. Smash the likes on our way out. Subscribe to both channels on your way out. And I will catch you guys again tomorrow with another daily transfer update. Until then, enjoy the rest of your evening. Take care. Peace out and up the shelves, people.